What's up YouTube and welcome to Travel Adventures with Eric B. I'm Eric B and today I'm in my hometown of Baton Rouge, Louisiana and I'm visiting the Louisiana State University Rural Life Museum. So follow along and let's get the adventure started. Let's go. I'm Eric B from Travel Adventures with Eric B. If you're new here, I offer travel advice. I'm a solo traveler and I do vlogs to help you travel better and more efficiently. Welcome to the Louisiana State University Rural Life Museum. Even though this is an LSU museum, this is not on LSU's campus. So if you're in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, you're on LSU's campus. It's about a six-mile drive. It's off of one of the main streets in Baton Rouge called Essen Lane. But you drive back about one mile to this property as this property sits deep off of the street. You can't see it from the street. Now, the museum itself includes 32 historical outbuildings that spread over 25 acres. Tickets are $12 for adults. The museum is dedicated to the 18th and 19th century rural life in Louisiana. As we go in to check out the exhibits inside of the museum, you will notice many of the displays are about the sugarcane industry and the cotton industry. Between 1750s until the Civil War in the United States, Louisiana's industries, those were the two biggest industries in Louisiana. Louisiana produced nearly 95% of the sugar and around one-third of the cotton exported around the world. Obviously, there's also a lot inside and outside about slavery and the Civil War and plantations, uh, which you'll see a whole lot. That's a big theme in the museum inside as well as outside. Kind of a touchy subject for an African-American, but you know, it's, it's a part of history and I enjoyed being able to, to see these things firsthand and learn from it. But I tell you, the thing that interests me the most is seeing the wagons and the vehicles and things which you'll see shortly and just seeing uh, older furniture and just seeing these things which I really enjoy whenever I go to museums on history and all. I enjoy seeing the, the way things looked way back in the 1700s and whatnot. I love the classic cars. This will definitely be my favorite section of the entire museum. This is amazing.
It's also a very fun section, very unusual section. It's a lot of section about chairs. There's a school desk here. There's a barber chair here. And there's many other chairs. It's like a wheelchair here. <laughs> I don't know what that is. That's like a, a toilet seat or something. And this is like infirmaries right here and different medicines and things. So this is a really cool section as well. Okay, so we're moments away from going outside and we'll see the plantation area and the homes area and everything but there's just so much interesting right here that it's, it's hard to leave this area alone it's the old piano and everything like it's a really cool spot I mean it's so far now we're headed outside but there's a lot to see outside and inside here So we're inside, I believe this is an overseer's home, so let's go check this out. They don't actually let you in, but you can see in through the glass, put your phone in, record it like I'm doing right now, and get really good views of it. So this is a direct replica right here of uh, College Grove Baptist Church one of Louisiana's early churches after slavery, a uh, black church from 1870 into the 1970s. So this is a uh, church right here. So it looks very small by today's standards, but there it is.
as an African American, I'll say, walking through here and looking at the old slave pens and seeing so much from slavery, it's sad to look at knowing your ancestors went through these things and they lived here and they, you know, went through being a slave and all, but it's, it's history and it's good to study your history and know your history. So it's, it's sad, but at the same time, it's, it's cool to see the history. and it gives you great perspective that's for sure because this is not somewhere I thought I would ever be standing but you know I, I like history so I thought the museum was fantastic as far as information and and things to see exhibits and all I mean that's that's pretty close to a 10 out of 10 as far as exhibits and all I'm, I'm very picky on what I give a 10 out of 10 to but I'd say a strong eight and a half out of 10 very very good museum I'd say I definitely recommend checking it out and that's all folks I hope you enjoyed this video if you did I ask that you please hit the like please hit the subscribe button please hit the bell notification so you can know when I have more material coming out. And as always, remember, live today, grow today, tomorrow's never guaranteed. Peace and travel, lots and lots of travel.